This week's feast. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Jawbreakers! Every kid in the cul-de-sac is trying to get at these jawbreakers. Ed, Ed, and Eddie are always on the hunt for these gigantic and delicious hard candies. In fact, it's the main reason the trio performs their elaborate scams, to even afford them. Jawbreakers aren't just any tasty candy, they're the most delectable in the land. They're so desirable, they even made a whole video game for them on the Game Boy. Just to let all you feasters know, this is probably our most unhealthy feast we have ever made. Why is that? Let's just start the recipe off with six cups of sugar. And this is only for one half of a jawbreaker. Add in two cups of water to a pot, one cup of corn syrup, and stir the solution together on medium heat until the sugar has completely dissolved. Then add whatever food coloring you'd like, stir it all up, and turn the heat up. Keep a candy thermometer in the solution. We're taking this to exactly 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Your jawbreaker solution will boil and bubble for a while before the heat gets there as all the excess liquids start to evaporate. As soon as it hits 300 degrees, take the solution off the heat and carefully pour it into your hemisphere pan coated with a non-stick cooking spray. The solution is extremely hot, so be very careful on this step so you don't burn yourself. Once you've poured that out, clean out your pot and prepare another batch to fill up the other half pan. If you want to add flavoring to the mixture, like watermelon, you would do so as soon as the temperature hits 300 degrees. It will take a few hours for the solution to fully cool and harden. Then just add a small, tiny bit more on top of the mold to act as a glue and carefully combine the two halves. All right, it's time to make these look like real jawbreakers and we're going to paint them, but we're gonna do so with food safe ingredients. The way we're gonna paint these is with the splatter technique. I've got the toothbrush, Ashley has paint brushes. We're gonna put the, uh, the food safe paint on top and sort of go like this. Decorating these jawbreakers is super fun, and the best part is there's no wrong way of doing it. They're your own individual expression of color, so go crazy and use as many colors as you want. Voila, you've got gigantic jawbreakers from Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Every kid in the cul-de-sac is gonna go crazy with jealousy when they see you touting this bad boy around. If you can even lift it, that is. This is a massive... <laughs> Gobstopper. It's a jawbreaker. Oh. <laughs> it's like an art piece. Look at this thing. <laughs> Should we post it on Instagram or eat it? I think we need to ship this to someone and they're like, why did I get a bowling ball in the mail? Or we could like break somebody's window with it. <laughs> <laughs> or like delinquents on Pizza Fiction. We Definitely. do not condone violence. I just want you guys to know this is seriously heavy. Like if you if I drop this on Jimmy's toe right now, it would break it. Shattered. <laughs> this is a toe. We're not shatter. talking about this. That would stay the same. Totally. My foot would just break in half. Just want you guys to know, ten cups of sugar is super duper heavy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously. And, uh, and a little sticky. Yeah, and you know, now I have rainbow hands. <laughs> Should we try it? Yeah, okay, I don't, this is the one of the few feasts we can't really eat, so. Well, what are we gonna do? Hold on, let's get a game strategy here. Okay, you start on your side, I'll start on mine. But no licking my side. Don't even touch my side. I will not. And the first person to finish wins. Are you serious? <laughs> yes, I'm gonna happen. Like, we're gonna be here forever, like. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys next week on Feast of Fiction, where we'll still be we're working st on this <laughs> jawbreaker. Mm, watermelon. You're licking each other's grossing me out. Here's what you get when you share a jawbreaker. Oh my god. Excuse me. Holy moly, sorry. When you're done licking, I'll take my licks. I'm done. You can lick. <laughs> okay. Feel free to finish the show. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a giant Ed, Ed, and Eddie jawbreaker? Wow. Are you done licking? No. So we'll never finish this thing. Is it my turn yet? It's your turn. Mmm, delicious. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let us know in the comments if you make this everlasting jawbreaker. I feel like we made real progress today. We did. I, I mean, got I rid totally of... licked off all my paint. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm getting somewhere. Yeah, you did get somewhere. How about you? Uh, I got oh, some a little splotch. Too. Yeah, yeah. This is so weird. I'm like holding this jawbreaker up for him while he licks. This is Delicious. true friendship, guys. Watermelon. Feast of fiction. This is a really good flavor. Leave a comment below if you want to see us make something next week on Feast of Fiction. We'll get to your suggestions as soon as possible. As and soon as we finish this jawbreaker. So, we, the show may be canceled. <laughs> <laughs> so, we'll see. That's a wrap, guys. <laughs> see you next week. Bye!